creating great looking designs and mockups is easier than ever using this free tool that lets you turn screenshots into presentation ready images like these. They're really easy to create and there are lots of customization options to make your images stand out in your presentations. Let's take a look at how it's done using Shots.so. First, head over to the Shots.so website and click on the Start Creating button. You'll need to upload your image, which you can do by dragging and dropping it here, or by clicking and selecting the image. This is our starting point, which already looks nice, but we want to do some customization and make it look even better. Before we do that, click on these four dots, which brings up the App menu. From here, we can switch it to Dark Mode, which I like better. Now, there are two sections we can use to modify our image, Mockup and Frame. We'll start with Mockup and move on to Frame later. Here, we have several options for changing the overall style of the mockup, which is set to Screenshot by default. We can use a browser, devices like an iPhone 14, or iPad, MacBook Air, Apple Watch, and more. For now, let's go with Browser. Depending on what type of mockup you've selected, you may have some style options here. With Browser selected, we can choose from Safari Light or Dark, or Chrome Light or Dark. If we switch our mockup back to the screenshot type, we have a different set of style options. Default is basically just the image with no border style, but as we change it, it gives us different styles for the border around the image. I like the retro style, so let's go with that for this example. Once you have your mockup type selected, notice all the layouts we have available on the right side. Select one, and the original image is skewed and rotated to fit the style we're going for. There are lots of options for each mockup type, and they're all really great starting points to customize further. If you make a mistake or you're not happy with anything you've done, you can click the Undo button down here to move backwards or the Redo button to move forward. Next, we have the border options, which we can control with a slider or these presets. These control the sharpness or roundness of the corners on our screenshot. Sharp gives us no rounding at all, just a sharp corner, while round gives us the maximum amount of rounding. Curved is right in the middle, still rounded, but not as much as with the round preset. You can adjust the slider to get values between the presets as well. We can give some more style to our image by adding a shadow here. Like the border settings, there's a slider and three presets, but these work different. Each of the presets are actually different types of shadow, while the slider controls the intensity. The None setting removes the shadow completely. Soft gives a more diffused, spread out shadow, while Hard gives us a more solid shadow. We'll go with the Hard shadow, and then adjust the intensity until it looks good. Here we have the Scale and Position section. From here, we can use this slider to adjust the scale of our mockup. The grid below it allows us to place it on the canvas, aligned with each of these positions. I like it centered, so I'll set it back to the Center Grid option. You can also use the X and Y sliders to position it with more precision based on the X or Y axis. Let's switch over to the Frame tab, where we can adjust the resolution and screen ratio, as well as customizing the background. Click here, and you can adjust the screen resolution. You can set it to a bunch of different options, including 16 to 9, 19 by 1080, 1 to 1, 1080 by 1080, or 3 to 4, as well as a bunch of other options for social media, Instagram, Twitter, Dribbble, and Pinterest. We'll go with 3 by 2, under the default category. We can customize our background here with a selection of solid colors and gradients. If you want the background to be transparent, click here and the background will be removed. Click Select Image if you'd like to choose an image for the background. Or you can choose any of these solid colors for your background. Just click them to activate one. Also, for each of these sections, they have this box with three dots, which if you click it will give you some more options that were hidden. There's no color picker to let you choose the exact color you want, but if you know the hex code of the color you'd like to use, you can enter it here. That's nice because it lets you use any color, not just the presets here. Hopefully in the future, there will be a color wheel or something so you can select it directly. 
There are a variety of gradients available, which you can select here, if you don't want to use a solid color. Don't forget to click the three dots and see the other options available. There's lots of options to choose from here. They've got classic desktop backgrounds, vintage gradients, holographic gradients, mesh gradients, and some abstract backgrounds. For our image, I'd like to go with one of the desktop backgrounds. Maybe this one here. I think the colors of the image match nicely with the background. If you're happy with your work, you can click here to download it, and the image will be exported as a PNG file. Before I download it, I'd like to customize it a little more, and use a different device. Let's use an iPhone instead of a screenshot mockup. Switch back to the mockup tab, and drop down the mockup types selection box, and select iPhone 14 Plus. Notice it tells you how many layouts are available for each type of mockup. 14 layouts for the iPhone Plus. Some of the other layouts available have multiple devices, which allow for more images to be used. This one has two phones side by side, or you can have them offset a bit. There are lots of different options, with different positions for each device. Let's go with this one with three phones. Different devices will have different settings to change in the mockup section. For example, when using the iPhone, you can choose the color of the phones here. I'll go with red. I think it looks good on this background. Notice the image I chose is too large for the device it's being displayed on, and a lot of the image is cut off. So I've got another image with the correct dimensions for a phone. Just click the screen on the first phone to change the image, and I'll choose the one I have prepared. Click on the phone in the center to add another image, or just drag and drop the image onto the device. I'll do the same for the third phone also. If you don't like the order of the images, just drag them into the order you'd like them to appear up here. Let's switch to this layout. I think that looks better for this mockup. Great. Now let's download the PNG version. You can also click here to copy it as a TIFF file on the clipboard. Once it's saved, I'll open it up. And there you have it, our finished mockup with a great looking design using nothing but three simple screenshots. With Shots.so, you can easily create graphics like these, and the site is still in beta, so it should be updated with more great features and content in the future. I hope this video has been helpful, and you can find a way to start using Shots.so in your projects. I've been using it for a while, and I think it's a great app. Thanks for watching. See you next time.